What's good YouTube? Welcome back to LifeG. And you know I wouldn't do that update video about having a solo option on these events and not try them. So we're gonna be doing the an unwelcome an unwelcome return level 60 and we're gonna be attempting that solo. So because I I've been doing a lot of just all melee teams, essentially this, except this guy switched up for squall or something. I figured I'd try something a bit different for this event especially since I'm not gonna be farming this event this is pretty much just to see if I can do it so I'm gonna be running Titus he's probably my best character tied for best right now I'm gonna be running Prish and Eco or Eco and my reasoning here is this boss is weak to light Eco smite ability does light brave magic damage he's also just a really good support unit and also Prish's moves can change into light so that's why I'm running those and Titus is just gonna be good overall offense this boss is weak to fire and I believe Prish also has an option for that as well with spinning attack yeah so this is the team we're gonna be running so uh, queue up solo. I don't know how much the friend's gonna matter. This Prish looks nice. The problem with bringing a, a Prish friend is that she takes so long to build up. If I can find my buddy's Vincent, which I think he switched it over because yeah, he put a more event specific character up. Okay, so we're gonna bring this cloud. Good thing about Cloud is he does have the option to stun even before he goes away, so we'll rock this. Oh, I forgot to mention our goal isn't our main goal is to not get any KOs, clear within nine turns, and take nine thousand or less HP damage. I'm not really gonna worry about this one. Basically I'm gonna try not to lose any characters and clear it within 90 turns. So let's begin. That was a bad break. Should have let Prish finish finish it off, but that's okay. Let us activate HP regen. And that should last us for the rest of this battle. Let's go with HP attack. And let's go with HP attack. Brave. This one is wind. Okay, um, just go with the regular brave. I have to think about it a bit because I haven't used Persh much since her event. Let's just get some Brave back up for you. We're gonna go for the HP attack here. We don't need everyone getting broken. So we'll leave it like this. Alright, HP attack. And let's go for a slash combo here. That's fine. We can always take HP damage. And I figured that's what he was going to do. Okay. Let's do a regular brave attack. Regular brave attack. Of course, HP attack. They're about half of the way there. Attack all. Let's go smite and get some damage in. Right. 
HP attack, definitely, and HP attack. Let's get that damage in. And we have another chance to get some Brave back anyway, so why not? <laughs> this character is so greedy for turns, I forgot about that. I forgot how greedy she was in turns. Let's just let him attack and then go back in. Alright, so it's not so bad so far. I know where the problem is going to lie. The problem is going to lie in the one summon for the next phase, but I do think we're going to be fine. Let's go ahead and smite. And... Just a regular HP attack here. Lie, that kind of hurt. <laughs> that kind of hurt a bit. So we got our summon up. Again, we're not going to use our summon until the next phase. This guy can get tricky, but I don't think we should have any problems. First thing we're going to do as soon as we get to Echo is we're going to heal, but let's start off with the backhand blow. It opens up a lot of options for her. Alright, so HP regen immediately. Yeah, we'll just go for the HP attack. Same here. And once we get him to about half health, then we'll switch. So let's go Smite. Again, he is weak to these abilities. I think I'm going to switch the, switch him out for Cloud right now, see if I can start getting some stuns, and then by the time Cloud's ability is finished, I can do my summon. So he's gonna be attacking her next. We'll just do a brave attack for now. This is one guy... Okay, I didn't think he was gonna go for that attack so quick. I was gonna say this is one guy that we definitely don't want breaking. So straight into an HP attack here, and for Cloud we're just going to continually do cross slash until he's gone. Uh, let's go with this. Alright, so he's just about half. We're going to do a quick hit here, and now we're going to activate the summon. Alright, so let's go Smite. This is good enough, 8700 is uh, good enough. And we'll get a big chunk from him as well, Max. I actually didn't think I was going to get to Max, but I'll take it. And we'll go HP attack here as well. And bam. Yeah, this was, um, I don't know, this was pretty easy. I think the Illusionary World one was at level 70 now that I'm thinking about it. So it makes sense that we wouldn't have a problem with the level 60. Let's see if it was in 90 turns or not, though. Okay, yeah, <laughs> 53 turns, so no KOs, check, within 90 turns, check, and HP lost. 
Well, because we gained the health back, it doesn't really say, but I'm pretty sure we lost less than 9,000. Now, the biggest downfall of doing this solo, obviously, as you can see, is the lack of items from doing co-op. So, outside of doing it for bragging rights, I wouldn't even really say it was worth it. But, yeah, that's the video. An unwelcome return, solo, and uh, all the missions complete. Thanks for watching.